and welcome back to the second half of the introduction to the organizer. We have gotten all of our photos from the computer from our hard drive into organizer and now we're ready to actually do the organization and the management. So there are two ways to go about adding photos to albums. The first way is just the manual way and I'm going to show you a shortcut in just a minute that will help you put your photos into some albums automatically. So first things first we'll do the manual way. Let's create a new album to organize our photos. We'll click here at the plus sign and say new album. You want to give your album a name. I like to organize my photos by date. That's just a personal preference. If you're a professional photographer, you might have an album for your professional work and then you might have a separate one from your homework. Feel free to do any kind of organization you want and you can go as crazy organizing this as you want to. For right now, all of the photos on my desktop are from 2007, and since I like to organize mine by date, I'll just type in 2007 as the name of this album, and at the bottom, click Done. And here is our new album. To add photos to this album, all you have to do is click as many pictures as you want to drop in there. I'm going to hold down Command one more time, or Control if you're on a PC. And we can just drag them over into that album. And you'll see this little icon appear here in the bottom right hand corner. That just means it's in an album. So this photo, if, if you have photos that do not have one, then they have not been classified yet. It's going to take me forever to go through these photos if I have them this big. So one of the nice things about this layout is I can shrink my thumbnails or I can grow them just by using the slider at the top. I'm going to get more per page by sliding it to the left. And now I have seven on each row. That's going to help me go a lot faster through these. So I can still see the date. I know this is from 2007. And I will just scroll down. And let's see, the last of my 2007 pictures is right here. I'll hit Shift and click on the last one. And that highlights everything in between. And now I can just click on any of these and drag it and drop it over in the 2007 album. So this is pretty easy. You can make as many albums as you want to. Like I said, you can go as crazy as you want with your organizational system. That is the way to add photos manually. Um, if you click over to 2007 and you're in this album, the only photos you will have on your organizer right now are the ones from 2007. To get back and see everything you have once again on your hard drive, you'll still want to go back to show all and that'll show everything you have, ones that are categorized and ones that are not categorized yet. I told you that there's a shortcut. If you're organizing your photos by date or with another method where you can have the computer do the searching for you, then you can create what's called a smart album. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'll go to plus again to create an album, and this time I'm going to do a new smart album. I'm going to call this one 2006. Now the computer is going to go through and search for any photos that match the criteria I'm going to give it and put it inside this smart album. So for 2006, I'm going to search for all the files that match all of these conditions. That's the second option here. I want to choose the capture date is after, and we'll say 12, 31, 2005, and have a little plus to give us another field here. The capture date is before 1107. Anything that falls between these dates is going to be 2006, so that's what I'll have the computer use to set up the album for me. Now, I'm going to change it back to capture date in a moment, but there's a, you can just hover over here and have a little preview. So there are a number of different options besides the capture date that you can use to filter these photos. The file name, the photo project name, um, the camera make, the catalog date. You can just kind of browse through here. The one that's the most useful to me personally is just to do the date. And I'm going to go down here and click OK, and it's going to create the Smart Album, you'll see it up here, right up here, and inside the Smart Album, it already added all the photos from this year. And you can be more specific too. If you do your filing by month, then you could just have one that's January 2006, 
for February 2006 and just use the appropriate dates there. So clicking to 2006 now, these are all the files that were taken in 2006. It's important to note that you can also nest these albums inside of album categories. By clicking on the plus sign, you can add an album category and say whatever you want to. Maybe travel photo is going to be the top level here. And let's say that I want all of these 2007 files that I added to go into travel. All I do is grab that album and drag it down to travel and see it's nested inside here. So if you have long, long lists of different albums, then you might want to go ahead and organize them this way. You can have a hierarchy to say, I've got a parent category and inside that category are these different albums. And that way you'll be able to toggle through just by clicking this arrow whenever you want those to appear. It makes searching a whole lot easier. Depending on what you're using these photos for, you might want to give your photos keyword tags as well to help you refine your organization. Especially if you have a lot of family photos, you might want to tag who's in the photo so that you can easily click on someone's name and then show all the pictures that have that person in there. Based on what's in all the pictures that I have currently inside my organizer, I'm going to create some tags for the different places that, that are in the photos. So. I'm going to click over here in the bottom right, here's where all of my tags are stored, and I'm going to click on places, that's the category that these tags are going to go in. So I'm going to say a new keyword tag here, and I will say the Loire Valley might be one tag. I might add another tag for Paris. I might add another tag for Mont Blanc. By the way, all of these pictures were taken in the days BC or before children. I have been probably as far as the grocery store in the last six years. So I have all my tags now and this you do the same exact thing. You can just sort through your pictures. I'm going to go back to show all because those pictures were not taken in 2006. And scroll through your pictures until you find ones that you want to add to those tags and here's where some France pictures start. Let's see, all of this is Mont Blanc. So I can, I clicked on the first one in that series. I'm going to hold down shift and click on the last one in that group and simply click on one of them and drag it over this time into that tag. And you'll see a little icon of a tag appear just temporarily um, as you're tagging it. It's just showing you that that's what it's doing. I'll add these as well to Mont Blanc. And once you get used to this, it goes very, very quickly. I'm going to do the next ones here. We'll put these in the Loire Valley. Let's see, lots of castles. Dude. So just drag and drop into as many different tags as you want to as well. I forgot to mention that. You can have photos in more than one album and you can also tag them with multiple different things. And once again, if you create tags that you don't want or you don't need, then all you have to do is right click on the name of this tag. So let's say I decided not to tag my Loire Valley ones. And then just say, delete the Loire Valley keyword tag. You can delete the tag. This will not remove the photo from your system. All it does is remove that tag from all the photos that you, you had applied it for and click OK. And those are now, there's nothing when I click, um, you know, Loire Valley has disappeared here from my list. I have a few more little tips to pass on to you about using the organizer, but I'm going to save those for the next video. For right now, you should have the tools you need to get started organizing. So in this video, we learned what the organizer is and how to add photos from our computer into the organizer. We also learned how to delete the photos in batches from our computer through the organizer. We learned how to create albums and keyword tags, and then we learned how to add photos to the albums and apply tags to them. Your assignment for this lesson is to add photos from your computer to the organizer. Go ahead and create some albums and add photos to these albums. If you have the time or you want to, go ahead and try creating some tags and tagging a few photos as well. Next time on Elements for Bloggers, we'll learn how to use the star rating system and the people recognition tool to further refine your organization in the Elements Organizer. I'm Jenny Elliott from thebloggaven.com. Thanks for watching.